I had an abnormal pap smear and had to go back and take a closer look, I guess, and then found out that um, cancer was present. Diagnosed with cervical cancer, Sarah Thomas was faced with choosing a treatment option, radiation or surgery. She decided to have a radical hysterectomy using robotic technology called the Da Vinci. The Da Vinci is a what's it's a robotically assisted procedure where we use a special robot and special technology inherent to the robot to improve dexterity and visualization of the uterus and the surrounding structures. UAB GYN oncologist Dr. Warner Ha says the Da Vinci allows surgeons a three-dimensional view inside the abdomen. It really has that look and feel of open surgery that you don't have with standard laparoscopic approaches. Why is that important? Well, I think that decreases the fatigue of the surgeon over time but allows for greater precision. With the minimally invasive da Vinci, surgeons make several small incisions in the patient's abdomen as opposed to one large incision, which can leave a 6 to 12 inch scar. During surgery, Dr. Ha controls the da Vinci's robotic arms from a console in the operating room. You're not being operated on by a robot, which is a little bit of a misnomer. We're using the robot to assist us with the surgery, so the surgeon is still operating on the patient. Dr. Huss stresses that robotic hysterectomy isn't for all patients. Women with cervical or uterine cancer are potential candidates. In the end, it's really about the patient, what's best for the patient, and I think a lot of these patients can go home within a 24-hour period, and many of these patients don't even require narcotics while they're in the hospital.